Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to today's video. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Michaela. I am a cash stuffer and budgeter here on YouTube. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. So today's video, we are using my second paycheck, sorry, third paycheck of April to stuff my savings envelopes and challenges. We have $160 to stuff today. So not as much as usual. Kind of maybe like half as much as usual i want to say but that's okay we are still gonna hit up everything and we're actually gonna be finishing up a challenge so i'm super excited about that so let's not delay and get started so we have our 160 dollars here already counted it so it is all there and we're just gonna set it up on our little cash tray here get it all nice and neat and we're gonna dive right in so here is our little savings uh binder and i did have someone leave a comment on one of my more recent savings challenge stuffing so i just call these savings savings challenge stuffings even though these aren't all savings challenges i have my home and my emergency fund that are not challenges I just like to stuff them in the savings videos because these are not envelopes I spend out of very often at all. They are like extremely long-term sinking funds. So I'm not spending out of my home emergency binder and I'm not spending out of my emergency fund very often. So I just loop them in with my savings challenges. Um, so yeah, someone asked why home and emergency are in here when they're not savings challenges, but that is why. Okay, so we have to put a little bit less than I would normally like to under home, um, home renovation, home emergency, stuff like that. This is going to get $20 this week. I normally try and like to do 50, but I just couldn't swing it with my paycheck. So we're going to do 20 and I did spend out of this. So when I think of our home fund, yes, I think of home repairs, home emergency, all that kind of stuff but i actually don't have a furniture fund anymore and so i don't i have a household envelope that's more for like everyday household stuff um like cleaning supplies and and little teeny things but so i actually bought a couple pieces of furniture so we did spend out of this not very much and we still have a few more pieces to go but these are like kind of larger pieces we did get them at a pretty good discount but I felt like I needed to take them out of the home fund. So there is a little less in here, not much, but there is gonna be, you know, I am gonna be spending a little bit out of this, but not like a crazy amount. So just if you see this going down, that is why. So we have 1500 still in the bank, so we're good there. So I think we just added our 20. So 1500, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1950, 1970, 1990, and 2010. So we're still above 2000. That is awesome. It's not going to be that way for a while. <laughs> I am going to be spending a little bit more this week on a, a few more pieces of furniture that we found that we like. Um, so they're not new. It's going to be used used stuff, but it's still pieces that we need to fill our new, new home. I mean, we've been here for like seven or eight months, but still <laughs> our house is pretty bare, it feels like. <laughs> okay. Uh, past that emergency fund is also going to be getting going to be getting twenty dollars and we are working on getting this built back up to at least twenty five hundred and then by the end of the year three thousand so we have fifteen hundred sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so nineteen hundred is in the bank then we have two thousand twenty one hundred twenty one fifty twenty two twenty two fifty three 320, 340, 360, 370, 70, 2, 74, 76. So 1,376. So we are so, so, so close to getting back up to that an original 2,500 that we had saved before I had to buy my tires. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to our likes challenge. Y'all really came through on my latest video that I have posted. I really appreciate it. We are going to be able to put $35 into this fund today, or into this savings challenge rather. So $35 is going in. I don't count my likes challenge. I think I mentioned in the last video, but I will not be counting this challenge until the end of the year, I think. I'm, I'll go ahead and like do uh, bill exchanges with it to, you know, when it gets too thick to keep in the envelope, but I'm just not going to count it. I'm going to let it be a nice surprise at the end of the year. 
All right, our month ahead challenge, we're gonna be adding $20 to. We are working towards getting to our next $353. So um, once we add it, once this has 353, once I have 353 in the envelope, that means we'll have a total of $706 in our month ahead fund. And that 353, I will go ahead and stuff into my month ahead binder. But we're not quite there to that next marker. We're gonna add 20, yeah, $20 today. So now we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So we're at 180, which is halfway-ish, a little under halfway-ish, I'm not sure, to our next mile marker in this fund. So we're doing pretty good there. All right, before we get to our Mystery 15, I'm going to do our little Christmas challenge. So I did another... $20. So I'm going to go ahead and color in this gingerbread house here. And that means we are almost done with our first round of the Christmas sweets challenge. Someone did ask, but I forgot to respond in the comments where I got this from. This challenge came from Breezy Budget Shop in a mystery box I got from her. I think I actually did see this on her Etsy shop, this actual like challenge sheet. Um, the envelope that I used for it also came in the mystery box, but I don't know if this envelope is in her um, shop or not, but it's Breezy Budget Shop. Okay, so let's add our 20 bucks and see where we're at. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 200. We're definitely behind on saving for Christmas. I did take a look at my, like, last, last year's April paycheck number two, and we had, like, 350 in Christmas so I really really need to pick this up <laughs> otherwise we ain't gonna make it we aren't gonna have enough all right so I flipped back to our mystery 15 so I got two envelopes this week to do for mystery 15 I have them to the side here so did not mean to bump you guys sorry we have I pulled out a number 10 and I pulled out a mystery one and I scratched it off and it was 18 so let's start with the smaller one we're gonna do our $10 bill in here and this is the mystery 15 challenge from the sassy mystic it is a challenge with a ton of envelopes and 15 of them are mystery ones the other envelopes are 10 15 20 25 and 40 and I just pull them out a couple out um, every week to do all right, I feel like this is not getting in here the way I want it to. There we go, so 10 going in, and we have our 18. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. So another mystery envelope is done. Out of our 15, looks like we'll have five of them completed now. Still so many envelopes left to do this challenge is gonna be going for a while i'm hoping to finish it before the end of the year but we shall see all right so we need our green marker for the tin and our mystery gets this color here so let's go ahead and do our tin let's color in another green envelope i'm trying not to like move the coloring all over the place trying to keep it all together so it doesn't drive people crazy <laughs> but the um the envelopes are kind of like spread on here kind of weird but that's okay it kind of keeps things interesting got to keep yourself on your toes make sure you're paying attention to what you're coloring in so you can see how many of each denomination you have left so yeah we have five out of our 15 mystery envelopes completed so there's still 10 more to go and there's still plenty of envelopes left <laughs> in this challenge all right, our other savings challenge is our 26 envelope challenge that came in the mystery box from Breezy Budgets. The envelopes came in the box and I got, came in the mystery box and this box I got from Dollar Tree, I believe. Okay, we actually <laughs> are going to finish this challenge this week. We have one envelope left. We have the number 17. Um, and then I'm gonna be doing a separate cash on stuffing, just a chit chat cash on stuffing to see how much we saved. Um, so let's add our last 17 and I mean it, we're really finishing it this week. <laughs> uh, last week I thought I had it finished and then I found this little guy in there. So 17 going in to this and I'm going to do, oh, I should have shown that on camera. 
one last little flip through just to double check I have every single one stuffed because if I got to the unstuffing and it was not stuffed, I would be really embarrassed. Okay, Whew, that one was really thin and it worried me. Okay, they are all stuffed. This is complete, yay. We have completed this savings challenge. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's just 26 envelopes and I got it done what felt like pretty quick. Excuse me, I didn't mean to throw it down. And so yeah, it was really fun and I'm excited to do this cash and stuffing. I mean, you can kind of determine how much you're gonna get if you have numbers one through 26, but one of them I did stuff some extra money in. So it will be a little bit more than what I anticipated. So yeah. That is all I have for you today. Be on the lookout for that savings challenge on stuffing video. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe if you aren't already. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.